Hey, yo everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing Batman and Robin, issue number 6. Take a look at this comic cover right here. Now, where we last left off on Batman and Robin, Robin, incredibly upset at his father for his distrust, decides to join forces with Nobody, thinking that Nobody would actually be an individual that can teach him the true meaning of fighting evil and the true meaning of being a mass vigilante. We pick up with issue number six, which is broken up into two stories similar to that of what was issue number five. The first story is Batman pursuing Damien, who is now working with nobody and attacking an ambassador. And the second story is a narrative story that is of Bruce telling Damien exactly what went down between him and the Ducards, what really caused the rift between Henry and Morgan Ducard and Bruce. And exactly how close Bruce came to crossing that line that he has. So the question is this. Will Damien actually cross the line and join nobody's team? Will he pull the trigger, so to speak? Or will Batman get to him in time and save his son from going down that dark path that he's been walking on for quite too long? Well, you're just going to have to read and see. Let's get into the good, the bad, and whether or not you should get it. Good. Uh, first and foremost is uh, if you've read Batman Blind Justice, which is actually the uh, first story that introduced Henry Ducard, one of the men that trained Batman, uh, what I liked about this issue is it took many elements from that, and even particular scenes, and incorporated it into this comic, just tweaking it up a bit. For example, uh, the, scene, uh, the scene that really stood out the most in uh, Batman Blind Justice is that Henry Ducard and Bruce Wayne were hunting down uh, criminals of some sort. And it was that Bruce Wayne walked in on Henry Ducard, killing the criminals. Uh, the same scene is done up here, only a little bit different. Morgan's involved, and Bruce doesn't just walk in on it. He witnesses it happen. However, it's still a good adaptation and a little bit of a update and revitalization of the Blind Justice story. So that is good. Uh, Damien is just portrayed beautifully here. There's some great character moments between Damien and nobody. And Damien in general, just what he says and how he acts and what he does, um, he really makes us believe that he is going to go down this dark path. And he, he you know, he just might. But, um... Really great character moments with Damien, particularly towards the end. There's one thing that he says that I don't want to reveal here that, you know... It is, it's touching. Uh, so some really good Damien moments. And you really start to see that no matter what goes on between Damien and uh, nobody or Damien and his father, he does have big issues with his dad. Huge issues. And he says that, you know, no matter what goes down, problems between dad and I are real. So uh, Damien's uh, characterization is really well done here. Uh, the story is well paced, uh, good structure. Good dialogue and everyone feels in character and is left off on a very chilling and uncomfortable cliffhanger. But in a good way, uncomfortable. Bad. Uh, I can't really say there's too much bad about this. I guess you could say for it being a Batman and Robin comic, we get very little Batman in this. But it kind of makes up for it the fact that Bruce is doing the uh, dialogue for the, the internal dialogue, the narrative of the flashbacks, and we got a lot of Bruce, a younger Bruce in the flashbacks, so I guess it balances out, but Batman's kind of just searching for Damien throughout this whole entire comic. Uh, but on a whole, whether or not you should get it, uh, definitely, 5 out of 5 stars. Um, this comic started off a little rocky, but it's turning out to be one of the best of the uh, Batman comics for the new 52. Uh, I have to say, the only comic in the Batman family that's really ahead of this comic would have to be Scott Snyder's Batman. Uh, but this is definitely a great comic, worth picking up, whether you're a Batman fan, a, history, uh, a fan of the history of Batman, or a fan of Damien, or just the dynamic duo in general. Uh, this is a great story, and... Uh, Peter Tomeshi is really pulling out all the stops. Um, and definitely the better titles he's on, because I believe he's on uh, Green Lantern Core too. So, Batman and Robin, 5 out of 5 stars. 
great read this week. Uh, this is Andrew saying peace out for now.